So cryptocurrency is gaining more momentum as an alternative form of investment in the recent years. That momentum has been made more apparent when the pandemic hit and now Bitcoin has risen its price to as high as 67,000. And many projects have come to life ever since crypto became popular. Now we have NFTs, we have yield farming, crypto games, and most recently the talks about the metaverse. But the thing that really interests me right now is that in how I can actually make passive income with my crypto holdings. Now you know me, I really love talking about passive income in any way that I can so that's why in this year of August I tried Cake DeFi, a platform that pretty much puts my cryptocurrency to work and generate passive cash flow for me and it's been three months now so it's time to look at the results of my experiment with Cake DeFi. and guys before we begin I want to let you know that I will be trying out these little crypto projects on the sides to generate more passive income for me so make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you get updated whenever I post these videos and also we should never forget to hit that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And with that out of the way, let's get back to the main thing. So first I wanna correct myself from my last Cake D5 video because I initially thought that I invested $300 in the platform. But when I checked the price of Bitcoin on August 5th, because that's when I started Gate DeFi, the price was around $41,000. Then when I sent 0.006 Bitcoin to Cake DeFi, that roughly translated to $250. So that's pretty much my correction for it. I started with $250, not $300. So with that corrected, I tried Cake DeFi for about a month. And then after that, my portfolio in Cake DeFi grew to about $130. And that's just from a $250 investment. Now, mind you though, that growth is mostly from the price appreciation of the Bitcoin and DeFi tokens, but mostly from the Bitcoin and also the sign-up bonuses that I received. To be honest though, it's kind of hard to track down the real growth of my investments in Cake DeFi because they're not as organized when it comes to having their users see how their portfolio is performing. I really want to look at how much my portfolio is performing without the price appreciation so that I can really decide whether or not I'm actually earning from the platform. Maybe there are some trackers that can do this, but I don't know guys, I have never seen one as far as I know. And if you guys know something, let me know. But anyway, I had to export all the data into a spreadsheet just so that I can actually see the data and how my portfolio is really performing. But I really do hope though that they will implement these simple but important features to investors in the future. But anyway, moving on for the second month in Cake DeFi, there weren't any big changes that really happened here except for a very small incident. I haven't added any extra money into this platform and plus throughout this time around September to October, the price of Bitcoin actually fell down a little bit. Their APY started to decline and that is just something that you will have to expect from these platforms that offer liquidity mining. And during that second month too, I unintentionally took out all of my BTC and DeFi pairings or basically all of my liquidity was removed from the pool. At that time, it was valued around $235, evenly split between the two tokens, $117 for Bitcoin and then around $170 as well for DeFi. Only half of the Bitcoin that got pulled out from the liquidity earlier was put back into the mining pool. Looking back at it, it was very stupid of me because I only put back into the pool the BTC part of the parry. I didn't realize that I can actually put back DeFi as well into that liquidity mining pool and since I didn't know what to do next I just went to the staking page because it was a lot easier to understand so what I did was that the remaining Bitcoin was swapped into DeFi tokens and then everything now is DeFi tokens and then they were all staked this is why my staking shares are now higher than my liquidity shares and now that it's my third month in cake DeFi I took a look at the results and how they're performing and I really can't complain at all because it's really good and remember I initially invested $250 in this platform and as of this recording the value right now is at $465 now obviously by the time I edit this video and you know publish this video that value is gonna change but that is what I see $465 the value fluctuates a bit because that's pretty much the nature of cryptocurrency it's very volatile the prices can just change from day one to day two or maybe even by the minute so you can just estimate that the value right now for my cake DeFi portfolio is roughly around that amount so I tried to calculate everything that I received from cake DeFi in three months Months and for liquidity mining, I gained around $30 in rewards. So prior to the little incident, I was averaging around 60 to 80 cents per day in liquidity mining, but now that is down to 25 to 30 cents per day. Now, as for staking, I made around $18 in rewards. Now, prior to that little incident, I was averaging around 10 cents to 12 cents a day in staking, but now that my staking shares are higher than my liquidity shares, I am now up to 20 cents to 26 cents 
per day. For their freezer services, I only made around 48 cents in the span of three months because the amount that are frozen is pretty much very small. If I had chosen to freeze more of my DeFi staking shares, then I would have probably gotten more. Because if you choose to freeze your DeFi, they will give you your usual APY for staking and an additional percentage for freezing it or locking it. But I didn't freeze more because I didn't have enough shares to freeze. But with auto compounding on, I believe that these numbers will grow by the time that I make another Cake DeFi update. So in my previous Cake DeFi video, I mentioned planning to get into their lending products, but I chose not to do that because their APY was much smaller compared to other products that they were offering. That decision apparently was a very good choice because since October 21, they stopped sharing or offering their lending services to any residents in the United States. You basically can't enter new batches anymore, but if you had joined prior to October 21, they will still honor that. You will still receive your rewards and the balance will be put back into your portfolio once that batch ends. So in total guys, I received around $48 in rewards from Cake DeFi in three months. That is basically around 19.2% return and roughly $167 is attributed to price appreciation so if we told everything together that's around $215 in growth or an 86% growth in its value. This is the main reason why I started looking into these different crypto projects that offer or generate passive income. This is what they called yield farming and it's pretty awesome because it offers you a much better return on your investments than traditional investment options. To be honest guys, I am quite regretting the choices that I've made before because these crypto projects that I am looking at right now, I've had them on my radar for some time and I never really took action or implemented on them and I never really invested. If I had done my research sooner look at their documentation, look at other reviews and stuff like that, then I could have invested sooner. And those lost months would have turned into something more profitable. But granted though, there are some risks involved with these types of crypto projects. We don't know how long this will last. We don't know if people are going to adopt them or use them. And lastly, and probably the most important of all, we don't know if they are legit. Will these projects actually help us make money or generate some sort of passive income or will they just get our money and then run? That is something that you will need to take into consideration when you're trying out these crypto projects or these crypto investment platforms. So make sure to do your research before you jump into them. But honestly guys, I am really excited right now because I finally jumped into these things and then I wanna see and kind of like try out different crypto projects that can generate passive income because I wanna decide and share with you guys how they can perform whether or not they're good for you and whether or not I would add them to my list of streams of passive income. Now, some of the projects that I'm looking at right now is the ever famous pancake swap. That is something that is closely similar to Cake DeFi, but they offer a lot more. Another one is called the Anchor Protocol, which is simply a crypto savings account. And like I said, I am really excited and pumped up to try these different crypto projects because I am an avid fan of passive income. So that's really one of the things that's driving me, but I also wanna share them with you so that you can try them out for yourself. But then again, I am not a financial advisor. There are some risks involved with cryptocurrency. That is something that you need to stomach, you know, make sure that you are very ready to, you know, dive into cryptocurrency investing or anything that is related to cryptocurrency because it is very risky. But that's pretty much the point of this. I want to try these projects and then after that, share them with you, document my journey so that you can, you know, watch me fail or watch me succeed. So if you want to follow along that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, you know, that little bell icon on the side of the subscribe button so that that you get notified whenever I post these new videos. And finally, hit that thumbs up button right there for the YouTube algorithm to help this video grow and be shared out to a lot more people. And also, I'm on Instagram at Daily Dread. Please add me there as a friend so that we can chat, collaborate, and exchange some ideas. And before I end this video, I wanna ask you, what are some crypto projects that you are trying right now? You know, comment them down below because I wanna see that. I wanna, you know, look at those crypto projects. Maybe they generate some passive income, you know? Share them with me because I want passive income too. And that is all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you know, don't be afraid to ask me below so that I can answer them for you. You know, it helps me kind of like understand more about the platform too, because you know, the best way to actually learn is to teach people, right? Anyway, guys, I don't want to make this video any longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.